Hey everyone, it's me with Theram, and I have another wonderful video, but long video for you today. And that is my 13.0.1 tier list. And I'll be the first to admit, there's definitely recency bias. There's definitely, you know, I'm definitely weighing things on the 13.0.1 patch heavily. And uh, also recent results. <clears throat> and uh, there was a whole bunch of things that went into this. Um, and I don't have all the data. I don't know everything. It's quite possible that certain characters deserve to be in different places. And uh, if you feel that certain characters belong in different places, be sure to argue that in the comments below. And we will definitely revisit this tier list uh, in a few months when there is more data. And we'll see what changes and, and, and how accurate this stuff is. But again, it is more results-based. So you have your first three tiers, which are, you know, more qualitative. And then you have the rest of the tiers, which are not so qualitative. I wasn't really sure where to place them, but you'll see how we get there. And if you like the kind of content I'm putting up on the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, like the video for the algorithm, but most importantly, stay safe, stay elite, and I'll see you all in the next video or live on Twitch. Okay. So yeah, uh, as you, let me uh, also, just so you can, just to see this for a moment here. Um, there are a bunch of things uh, down here that I have um, I've just put away. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to consider Pyramithra separately. I don't care about these other variations of hero or um, you know, for the male-female variants I just kind of put the first one I found uh, over in that section um, and that was it. So same thing with Pokemon Trainer, we're not considering them separately, and we are not considering Sans uh, separate. So, um, <clears throat> just just to put that out there. Okay, so, some things that I think are, um, hey, Average Alex, what's going on? Uh, I didn't, I, I must have missed Alf. Yeah, we're going to put him away over here. We just, I just care about Omar. Um, okay, so some things I want to really establish here. I think this tier list is going to be very different from what most people consider to be the norm. Um, and on top of that, I also want to establish that um, recency bias, I think, is going to be pretty heavy for me. Um, things that are... Holy shit. Rusev, thanks for the prime, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much. One month, uh, baby. Changer, Everyone use on, your dude? prime. Damn, they got that Texas speech too. I heard that. Um, so, like I was saying, recency bias is going to matter quite a lot here because uh, obviously 13.0.1 came out and that changed a lot of things. Um, it matters to me a lot about tournament results, and it matters that the character is is going to be in its in its final state. You know, so a great a, uh, oh shit. Average Alex also with the sub with Prime, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I don't know why uh, notification was a little slower than what I saw, but thank you very much. Um, so Prime example here is going to be Min Min, right? Like before the last uh, nerf to Min Min, right? She was like doing insane shit, especially over in Japan, right? She was just an absolute straight menace society but that's not really the case uh anymore um you know like she's definitely lower than what's going to be the absolute uh highest of tiers right so uh also i don't really want to just go by like s or a or whatever i want to give these things that are a little bit more concrete so i think that the highest tier should be you know, can win a can win a twenty. Um, I don't know how how large of a size I want to make this tournament as my standard here. I don't know if we should be saying things from like regionals higher, or if we're just gonna say like can win a major or more or something. We'll just start with this. Um, can win a major as a solo main. Okay. 
Something else that um, I want to also just kind of make note of here is that tier lists, while one are supposed to, they are supposed to, you know, provide like a, a level of potential in there. I would like to at least start the tier list off with just like direct facts with what we've seen from, from tournaments, right? So I think this top tier is probably the easiest thing, you know, for us to actually do. Um, because I think that that just should be pretty clear. Um, and I don't know how ordered we're going to be able to make this tier list. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I have enough, um, experience to really order it. So just putting that out there. So maybe we'll just leave it unordered. We'll see how it goes. Um, so I think unquestionably characters that belong up in this tier, um, are Pikachu, um, Zero Suit Samus belongs up here. Um, I do believe Peach belongs up here. Um, let's see. I have to kind of go through. Byleth goes up here. I know that's a strange one, but we can thank MKLeo for that. Um, Fox goes up here. We need... Where the hell is... Um... I'm trying to... Where's the other guy? Uh, Power Mithra, here we go. They belong up here. Um, who else really definitely belongs up there? Uh, I don't know if the Palatina nerf was enough to take her out, but then again, I haven't really seen... Oh, shit. Anonymous has gifted a sub. Damn, and we have a hype train now. What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, trying to think. I don't think Jigglypuff belongs up here as win a major as a solo main. I don't. I don't think that's the case. Um, I think for our next tier, right, which would be, you know, can top eight. Adam, let's just say, uh, Adam major, right? Can top eight at, at a major. I think Jigglypuff would belong in that tier. I think that I think that's unquestionable. I think base mage has proven that that is um, totally done. Um, Captain Falcon also goes in here. Um, as we just saw, um, this past weekend. In the last few tournaments, actually, Vitality's made it. Um, uh, I, actually, you know what? Uh, we'd have to maybe double check this. But I do think that, uh, Tweak got Diddy up here in, um, at Smash Summit. He used Diddy for this, so, um, yeah, I think Diddy actually should probably go up there. Oh, Joker. Bruh. Of course. <laughs> How did I miss Joker? Of course he belongs up there. Um, we're going to put her here for now. Uh, I'm open to, again, I am open to suggestions, chat. I'm not, like, uh, totally, you know, hell-bent on all this kind of stuff. Uh, I think Mega Man probably goes there. Has top eight at a major. Um... We'll just say can slash has. Because, again, I want to acknowledge the fact that... Um, we'll do the same thing up here. Because while I do want to acknowledge results, I also want to acknowledge the fact that... Um, you... Like, there's the potential aspect, and then there's, like, the result aspect. Um... What do I think about Inkling? You know, that's a really, uh, yeah, Roy, yeah, Roy does go up there, actually. I think Cloud probably goes here. Uh, but let's talk about Inkling for a second, right? So Inkling, we're just going to put her here. Let's say... Just leave it like this for now. I'm thinking about this character. Um... 
Inkling, Inkling is one of those characters, right, that in the beginning of Ultimate had a ton of potential. Um, they were, they were, you know, being utilized by a lot. I mean, Armada, um, you know, the uh, melee god was was playing Inkling and all that stuff. Cosmos was playing Inkling, I believe, too. Um, but he dropped Inkling for Pyramithra. Um, and... Like, I don't know. I can't think of any anything recently. Like, even from, like, update, like, 12 onwards, where... Where Inkling... Like, Inkling definitely doesn't belong up in this tier. You know? There's no way. Um... But I, I don't know. I mean, maybe this, right? Um, can I just drag tears? Is that a thing? Oh, that is a thing. Okay. That is a thing. All right. Um, cool. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like they're probably just outside that for now. At least, in, at least in terms of of results. I don't know that. I don't know that I can put. We'll have to revisit them. I don't. I don't know where to put them right now. Um. Uh. I think that we got to think about these FGC characters a little bit too. Um. Also, these characters, Olimar and Rosalina and Luma, definitely belong up here. Um, thanks to DeBuzz. I think that's pretty clear. I actually think Robin goes up here, too. Um, Samus should go up here as well. And Dark Samus is uh, the same. Because they're functionally... They're functionally the same. I mean, they have some slight differences, right? You know, we have, like, the rolling is a little different. Um, the air dodging is different. The double jump is different, but... They they belong there. Um, <clears throat> you know, Chad, the other thing that we need to kind of think about, too, here is um, is Wi-Fi uh, tournaments. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know how heavily to weigh some of that stuff. Because, like, in Japan, for example, Kirby won an online tournament. Um, and it was, like, a, it was a big one. Uh, but, like, I don't really know. I don't really know how much I want to way that you know what i mean like i def definitely offline results matter more to me um hmm. ness should also probably be over here i'm unsure about lucas i don't know where to place him um elegant had been making really good runs uh i don't i don't think he won but he he made up this luigi should be up here um Mario might be up here, too, actually. Thinking about Karama, formerly known as uh, Prodigy. If that uh, helps figure everyone out. I actually think Link goes up here, too. But not as strongly as these other characters. Um, but I know T has made... Um, that's the J Japan T, not like T-E-A. Just, he's just the letter T. He's made top eight with Link before. Uh, and I believe he's, he still does when he competes. So I think he goes up, but again, his claim here is less than all of these other characters. Um, oh yeah, Game & Watch for sure. Uh, I feel like Game & Watch probably goes up here. And, and honestly, I think the reason why we haven't seen Game & Watch win is because of MKLeo. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think he he probably goes up there. Uh, also, Lucina actually goes up here. The Proto Banham. Rob probably goes up here too. Because of uh, Zach Ray. And um, someone else I'm, I'm missing. Um, Sonic should definitely be up here. Uh... 
I don't know of any actual results for Kazi. I don't know how well Riddles has been doing with Kazi and Terry, but I feel like they probably go here. If anyone has evidence to the contrary, please let me know. Uh, where the hell is Terry? Question mark. Um, next to Steve. I don't know where Steve is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, here he is. Yeah, found him. Found him. We're going to put Link at the bottom here. I think that's still solidly he's at the bottom. Um, Wadi had been doing some stuff with Mewtwo, but I don't... Uh, does anyone know if Wadi had, um, had actually made top eight with Mewtwo before? Um, I don't know. Maybe. All right, so I, it seems like we're starting to get to the point where maybe we have some characters that belong in the next tier. And maybe this is just like... Uh... What do I want to call this this next tier? Like, I don't know if it's necessarily mid-tier. Maybe it's like, can make deep runs. Can or has made uh, deep runs. Deep runs uh, in bracket. All right, let me try and catch up with chat here. Uh, I was trying to subscribe with Twitch Prime, but Twitch is an ass, and I literally can't. Um, what I would recommend, Game Changer, is uh, try on an incognito window um, in a browser. Um, I, I agree with you, Turtle. Pac-Man should be up here. Um, uh, because I the other day I tried to give a, a gift a sub to, to Paul, and uh, it wouldn't let me do it um, un unless uh, I was in incognito for whatever reason. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so Simon and Richter are, are, oh yeah, Snake definitely goes up here. That's, that's a no brainer. Um, oh yeah, Gluttony, he definitely, he's done it. Uh, that, that's for sure. Um, yeah, Wolf, Wolf's an interesting, uh, question here because... I don't think we've seen a wolf solo main a uh, a major in a very long time, like a very long time. Um, also, because Daisy is effectively the same thing, she's just gonna go up here. I don't I don't know that wolf goes up in this tier. I think wolf, if anything, probably goes over here. Yeah, I'm putting Link at the bottom. I think he's got the lowest results of all of these other ones. Uh, also, Falco, for sure. Um, uh, Mars has... Mars did win Genesis 7, though, uh, with ZSS. Um, and she's still... She, like, she was nerfed, yes, but it, those nerfs are... Those are completely negligible. I mean, they don't really change. Same thing in the way that Joker was nerfed. Like, it didn't change anything. And ZSS is still being used to compete um, at a high level. I think that I think that to me is the difference. Is like there's still there's still someone like actively using this character and, and being able to, to do it. Whereas for Wolf, like uh, I, I, the same treatment just doesn't seem to really be there. Um, You know, um, you know, it's the same thing. It's the same thing like Pichu, right? Like, I don't think like in the beginning of the game, right? Pichu should have been up here. You know, same thing like with Wolf, but then Pichu got nerfed really hard, and like, no way does that character belong up there anymore. It, it's um, it's hard to say, right? Like, I, I'm not even totally sure. Um, Yeah, I, Wolf didn't get nerfed, but but like also, how many of these other characters got buffed or just totally negate things that Wolf will do? You know, like I I I don't know. Uh, I actually I think Sheik goes up here too. Does a void. Um, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure. I think... I mean, look, it's not like I have to have all the answers. It's not like I have to be, uh, you know, perfect with this. I think, I think this is a fair placement for Wolf. He's at least this good. And I think we can all agree on that, right? He, he's at least this good. And I'm okay with that placement. I'm okay with that placement. Um, has made deep runs in bracket. Uh, Incineroar actually has made a deep run in bracket. Um, I think we can maybe argue about this. These guys might deserve to be higher. But they are at least this good. They are at least this good. Uh, if Dark Falcon is here, he, he's going to be a little upset about that. But uh, they're at least this good, I think. Uh, I, I don't know if this character has had any notable things. Sephiroth probably... I hesitate to put... Uh, I hesitate to put Sephiroth up here, but Tweak has used him up here, so... Um, probably... Probably is fair. Probably is fair. Um, yeah, I think... I'm not trying to like speed run this, but I th I feel like this is probably true. Like, see, Shulk is another really interesting character, man. Right? Like, like what if people are actually done with this? Like, I I don't know. <clears throat> I I don't know. Uh, like maybe he could be in this tier. Um, let's set another tier here. I think we're gonna have. <clears throat> We need to have a not viable tier. I think that's important, right? Oh, also Leon with Bowser. Uh, I gotta, I gotta respect that. Um, okay. Um, the non-viable tier. Um, to be honest with you guys, I think I feel like this is DK for sure. I think at the highest levels of play, you're not gonna get very far playing DK. Um, especially if you're playing against Byleth. I mean, you're literally invalidated. Um, I, I, you know, I think that's pretty clear. Um, this is hard, man. There are actually a lot of... Isabel probably goes here. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I think Isabel probably goes here. Uh, I think... I think, I think Villager is a better character in every respect. In every respect. Um, uh, I... Hmm. Yeah, but like it's it's happened in bracket enough. I mean, e even beyond that, there's still like, like I mean, you still agree, you know. So I don't know. I need to argue this too hard, but there are still plenty of reasons why DK should be down there. Um, I also think this is hard, man. Um, maybe we change this to be. I kind of want to tear, like, in between this to say something. What the hell do I want to name this, right? We have the can make deep runs, has, can or has top eight. Um, I, I, what's a good description for something that's, like, in, kind of in between this? Like, these characters are, like, okay. Um, yeah, but that's what, that's what this is. That's what this tier is. Can or has make. I don't like the English on this. Uh, here, here's what we'll do. We'll say has made. Fucking caps lock. Slash. Can make. Deep runs.
Now I need to fix my naming schemes because I have OCD. <laughs> That's how it is, chat. Uh, uh, has top eight. You know, has slash could. There we go. That's that's the description. Same thing over here. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I guess these are just kind of like okay characters. Or. I don't know. This is kind of like your your mid to low tiers. Um, wait, mid to low tiers. Um, <clears throat> um Sorry, so let's just even just take a look at the tier list as it is right now, okay? I think that this, in and of itself, shows just how balanced this game actually is, right? There are a lot of things going on um, here that are... I mean, just this amount of character viability is just kind of insane. Um, just in and of itself, all of this is just kind of insane. Um... I think I think we just gotta kind of put some characters here. Um, <clears throat> uh, I think Lucario probably goes here. Actually, he's at least this good. And actually, Kirby should be here too. I think that's probably the best way to respect um, the online results that I know of as well. Um, Zelda should probably be here. Yeah. Um, Piranha Plant. I think Hero probably goes here. If anyone knows if any of, uh, any of the characters in here has made a top eight recently, or any of the other ones for that matter, let me know. Because obviously, uh... You know, if you've made top eight, you're instantly up here. If you haven't, then, <clears throat> you know, you're probably... But you've made a deep run, you're in here. And otherwise, uh, here. So, the reason why Min Min I'm, put, I'm placing lower is... Um, she got nerfed heavily recently. And therefore, as... You know, she's not being used as heavily anymore. Like, she's very clearly dropped off. The nerfs to her were significant enough. So, for me, the reason why she's low is definitely it's the recency bias there. I'm not, there's no lies there. I, but I think, I think this is fair. I think she's at least this good. And maybe someone will bring, you know, some next tournament that happens in a month or two, and maybe she goes back up here. But I think for now, she probably belongs here. It seems like after the nerf, she was mostly dropped. So. Um, Steve probably belongs here, at least. Um, hmm. Nah, Little Mac probably belongs there, to be honest. I think he's, he doesn't get higher than this. I, I don't, I don't think so. Um, uh, you know what? We're going to add another tier here. We're going to say this, we're going to call this a high tier character, but there's like, the, I have no results to to kind of put this stuff on. And actually, this this is a little unfair to Marth. Marth actually goes here. I forgot that Marth can kill people at like 50%. Um, 
So, he probably goes there. Um, I'm gonna put Shulk here. I don't know of any results he has for any of this kind of stuff, so he doesn't belong up here. But, um, I feel like he's probably at least this good. Um... I think Bayo is probably at least this good. Bowser Jr. He's at least this good. Um, same thing with Ice Clown. I'm not really sure where to place them. I feel the same thing about Lucas. I'm not sure. Um, I think Ridley's probably there. Same thing with Meta Knight. King K. Rule should be here. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. That that might be controversial. I think that might be bold. I'm gonna put Pichu there. I don't think we're ever gonna see Pichu come out in bracket again, considering we have this guy as an option. Um, I just, I don't see it happening. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I just, I don't, I don't see it. Um. King DDD belongs here, I think. There was a tournament recently that um, someone used King DDD to uh, to win recently. So he's at least this good, but I think it might have been online. So we're top fifty in the world. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, well then that that's probably fair then. It's at least this good. At least this good. You don't get to be top 50 if you're not making deep runs. Um, hmm. I don't think we're going to be seeing the actual character Sora do so much. I mean, he... Hmm. I'll leave him there. I'll leave him there. Um... I think Krom probably goes here. Um, the pits are interesting to think about, too. I don't know if anyone's actually playing them at a high level right now. Um, I think uh, me Brawler goes here due to Esam. He's used uh, Brawler in, in bracket at a high level. Um... These other ones, I don't think so, though. I think they're probably going to go here at best. Um, I could be wrong about Villager. I'm going to say the same thing. Yeah, these characters, I'm not sure where to place, but I think they probably should be around. It should be high tier. I mean, like this, this tier is basically like, I don't see why they couldn't be at like better than that's not really what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is i think that they could they could easily make it into this tier and they might even be t characters that get up here or even here but i don't have enough data to rank them amongst these characters so i'm gonna put these ones here uh, that's really what these tiers mean just to be totally clear on that we'll do a recap at the end um, pretty good, but no results, I think, goes here. Um, um, I think Banjo's probably here, actually. Um, I, same thing for Duck Hunt. Corn, I'm gonna say, is a mid-tier. And then that leaves the pits. Um, uh, let's put them, let's put them in here. I'm not sure. I did, you know why I'm going to put Dr. Mario up here? Because uh, I saw Jazar beat OG Mustang with Dr. Mario. It was an online tournament that had about 80 contestants. So that's about the size of the regional I went to uh, clip it, December 11th. But it was online. So I think that that's fair. Definitely above Ganon. Um, I think 
these characters probably are better. Ryu got significant buffs. I think I'd put him right next to Ken. Uh, do you know of a Ryu main or someone who plays Ryu that, that made a deep run in bracket? Because if not, I can't place him here. Like, that is the criteria to make it in this tier. That doesn't mean he's not good enough to do it. But he needs, like, these are tournament-specific uh, tiers. You have to have actual data to make it into these tiers. <clears throat> I don't know of a Ryu that has done that. So, I don't think I, I, don't think I can put him here. Um, a Japanese Piranha Plant got second at a big major? Okay. Where did the hell did I put Piranha Plant? Right here. Top 8. Well, if it's just one top eight, he will actually goes under Link. So Link has had a few top eights from the Japanese meta and Congo Saga. So, um, I'm gonna say these characters are better than Mar. Um, all right, let's take a look at this. Let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can order some of this chat. Let's see if we can order some of this, uh, specifically the highest tier, uh, because I think this is probably the most important tier to have ordered. Okay, so considerations, right? Uh, I think NK Leo with Joker has probably won the most tournaments. Um, it's obviously still really good, but there has been a drop off, right? I, I think it's clear that most people are playing, most people are playing Pyramithra now, right? So I guess maybe that's how we should, we should order this, this top one. We'll, we'll, we'll do heavy, heavy uh, recency bias for characters that um, that are actively still being played should go towards the top. Right, so we know this year you know, we've seen a whole bunch of people pick up uh, Power Mithra and all that, I, you know like Cosmo, Spargo um, MK Leo has played uh, Power Mithra as well um, I think I think uh, it's very clear they belong there. Um, Byleth has then won the next most amount of tournaments as MK Leo, And then you get into the people who have won at least one tournament uh, with their respective character, right? So I think that that then becomes Pikachu for ESAM, Fox for Light, um... Cola won something recently, right? So then that should be Roy. Um, we should have Pokemon Trainer, Rob. These two are pretty much almost at the same time. Um, actually, Game & Watch should be last because I don't think he has any of the wins there. Um, Lucina should actually be over here. And so should Diddy Kong because of Summit. But Proto Banham uh, did win a tournament with Lucina. Um, it was a land tournament this year. Um, so Lucina definitely is at least above these other characters. And then Gluttony won something this year too, right? So I think when it comes to... So Joker, Joker is... Um... Yeah, this is PT right here. Um, but Joker is kind of an outlier, right? Because, like, no one... I don't think anyone's actively playing Joker, but I do think that Joker... I, like, Joker, I don't think, belongs necessarily totally at the, like, the end. I don't think Joker belongs, like, here, right? Which, based off of just, like, current current stuff, he would he would be there. Uh, also, what's going on, Silverx? How you doing? Um... <clears throat> Like I think I think MK Leo has proven that Joker should uh Joker should probably be like up 
up here. Like I, he's probably like top three. Um, I don't know. I think, you know, I think I'm comfortable with that. I think I'm comfortable with that. Um, and the only reason why I think uh, I want to make this distinction here between, you know, basically ECM's results and Light's results is that ECM, ECM beat MKLeo uh, for that tournament. Uh, I forget the hell what, what, it, what it was called. It was one of the water park ones. Um, whereas Light, uh, he did win the tournament, but he didn't have to beat MKLeo to do it. Um, and I do think that MKLeo's results with, you know, these characters minus Pikachu, uh, I, I think they speak for themselves. I think they're just so powerful. It just can't be ignored, you know? Uh, his record over literally everyone else um, is just so dominant. Uh, down throw is much faster. Um, yeah, I mean... I, uh... The most I'd be willing to do is say that, that P Pichu goes here. Um, I, I don't think it's fair to to put Pichu any higher. And I think the same is true for Marth, because I'm going to be consistent. I think, I think they... Um, I don't think they go higher than this. Um... Again, I think in, when you have Lucina, you have... Also, in, in, in terms of Marth, right? There's Lucina and there's Roy. Uh, but there's also just Pikachu. I mean, there's just better alternatives that are more consistent, that uh, are more proven, uh, fact of the matter, um, than these other characters. So, um, yeah. I, I think that's... Um, I think that's the case. All right. And this just about fits on the screen, too. Yeah, it does fit on the screen. All right, Jack, going once. Going twice. Well, so for Lucina, again, P Proto Banham has the has an actual tournament result with Lucina recently uh, as a tournament win. So uh, she definitely belongs up here. Just quantitatively, she belongs up here. And to be fair, right, there are other characters here that just have one, just one, you know what I mean? So just one is the criteria to, to be up here. Obviously, these characters, um, they either have more than one or <clears throat> in the case of Pikachu, it's just, it was just such a notable win. I, it's definitely belongs here. So... Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, I'll put Diddy up there. I'll put Diddy up there. I think that's totally fair. That's really, that's a, that's a good, that's a good argument. I agree. Why didn't I rank each Pokemon in Pokemon Trainer? Uh, well, it's the same reason why I didn't rank, like, Pyramithra, for example. Um, you're not actually going to play the game uh, as just one of them. You know what I mean? By nature of being spawned in, um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna have the other ones. You know what I mean? So like, and also like at, at a, you know, high level, you know, top level play, uh, no one's just using one Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, and no one's just using Pyra or Mithra. You know what I mean? Like they're using both or three or whatever. So, I just don't think that, um, I don't think there's any value in ranking them individually. Um, it's how, you, you know, you're going to have all three of them when you spawn in, so that's how I'm going to rank it. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, all right. That's going to conclude the tier list. That's going to conclude the tier list. It took us an hour, <laughs> a full hour to do this.